the radio. Material Forex work gloves from Mechanics Wear aren't just tough, they're four times as tough. Material Forex gloves last four times longer than other work gloves and outperform leather hands down. Whether you're on the job site or in the garage, don't just protect your hands and add them with Material Forex work gloves. Work faster, safer, and cleaner with Mechanics Wear. The tool that fits like whoa, a glove. Whoa, 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 Every night this week we'll be taking a close look at the effects of Obamacare by focusing on how the fiercely independent residents of New Hampshire are dealing with its many changes. My colleague Brett Baer begins tonight by telling us those changes are literally driving many doctors right out of their own office. My name is Dr. Joe Hannon. Joe Hannon has quit medicine. I'm retired from practicing as a podiatrist. The uh, final decision to do so was done the day after the Affordable Care Act was passed. In February, he testified at an event in New Hampshire held by Americans for Prosperity, an anti-Obamacare advocacy group. The Health Care Act was the final nail in the coffin. It wasn't the main reason or the only reason, but it made the decision a lot easier for me. And he's not the only doctor who feels this way. In 2012, the doctor's company the nation's largest physician-owned medical malpractice insurer surveyed more than 5,000 MDs on the state of our country's health care system. The survey found that 43% of doctors were contemplating early retirement because of health care reform. Nine out of ten were unwilling to recommend health care as a profession. And 60% believe that Obamacare will have a negative impact on overall patient care. I think some of the doctors have uh, been worried about something that is not really the doing of the Affordable Care Act. Ron Pollack, executive director of the liberal health care advocacy group Families USA, believes the medical profession has a bright future. And they don't want to be employees of a hospital or whatever. But that has been happening irrespective of the Affordable Care Act. What the Affordable Care Act tries to do is to make sure that we have significant improvements in quality of care and the payment system is now going to create incentives for good care but dr richard anderson chairman and ceo of the doctor's company stands by his survey my sense in the conversations that i continue to have with our members is that the findings of the survey are accurate and if anything more so today with the increasing complexity of medical practice. For Dr. Joe Hannon, this doesn't bode well. As more doctors leave traditional practice for either retirement or other work fields, that's going to definitely affect how many doctors are available for everyone else who's left with all of these affordable but can't find your doctor plan. You hear about a doctor shortage, and as the baby boomers get older and older, that's only going to be a worse problem. As Brett Baer reporting from New Hampshire tomorrow, Brett tells us how Obamacare is actually stopping residents from going to their local hospital. Meanwhile, three more American missionaries who work with Ebola patients in West Africa.